Uh, hello, dear students. My name is Dr. Akhunzad Asaf Saeed. Hello, dear students. My name is Nargiza. Uh, today, uh, we will give a lesson about uh, uh, the bleeding. Okay. Uh, many people, uh, many uh, person, uh, when there is an accident or uh, when they fell from a high place or from uh, any other place. Okay. So. Uh, if there is uh, any harm to the uh, body part and uh, there is bleeding so today we will show about the first aid that uh, before uh, admitting to the hospital before going to the hospital how we will uh, stop the bleeding okay so today we will show you about the bleeding and uh, its uh, uh, stoppage its uh, first aid at uh, the leg region the arm uh, the arm region and at the neck region okay so first we will start from the uh, arm region for example we have a bleeding and we must uh, identify which type of bleeding we have firstly it can be arterial bleeding from arteries vessels or vein vessels and we know the difference between them the arteries vessels have pulse and vein vessels are haven't any pulse for example vein uh, uh, if bleeding vein vessels it's um, we know that it's deoxygenated blood and the blood will be a little bit dark red and uh, it's, if it's arterial vessels uh, it will be um, more red and we are firstly so uh, we have shown you that uh, here for example uh, we uh, there, there we have uh, the bleeding point okay so first uh, we will the two person uh, I will help Dr. Nagriza. First, we can put a little bit upward of our hearts because we know that the, here we will uh, pressure is will be lower and we will put our tie Like we this. will we will see that if uh, the bleeding is uh, stopped okay so we don't need any rubber band okay if the bleeding is in uh, small uh, part okay Vessels. and uh, uh, if uh, there is uh, uh, the bleeding is in large vessel or the, the uh, uh, bleeding place it is uh, very deep so we have a special type of rubber band okay we will for example, we have uh, bloody, uh, bloody point uh, here. Okay, so we will put this in this so that we can block the uh, blood from to the lower lesion. And if it's uh, arterial bleeding, if it's vein uh, bleeding, we know the vein are coming from this part, and we will put here. If yes. it's arterial bleeding, we are putting a little bit upper. And for example, uh, we we have in the uh, middle part of forearm bleeding, and we are just putting at uh, upper at one to two centimeters, and we are tying like this. So you can see here the clip. Okay, we will only put the clip, and then we will tie it from this region like this. Okay, so if it's arterial uh, blood, okay, we have start arterial blood to the lower arm. Okay, and if the, it's uh, vein, so this rubber band we will put in this side. Okay, so that the back flow of the uh, venous blood we have stopped. And if you haven't ha can't find anything, you can uh, use other materials also. And if we have uh, bleeding in main uh, vessels, for example, in big vessels, and you put a tire like this, and you must write uh, a da uh, date and uh, uh, time when you are making this tie. For example, it's uh, 1 First p.m. June. For yes. example, 1 p.m. and we are put. And we know this is the time of our uh, tying time. It's, for example, one hour to get to hospital. Okay. So this is the arm region, okay? Uh, this is the first aid before going to the hospital, okay? And then when uh, the patient reach to the hospital, they remove the uh, band also, and again, they will do the proper procedure, okay? Then after uh, this, for example, he reached to the hospital, we will remove, okay? And then the doctor in the hospital, he will do uh, the other process. Now, this is the uh, procedure of the bleeding in the uh, arm region, okay? Now, we will show you the uh, feet region, okay? Dr. Nagriza will uh, show you the half. Mm. We are firstly opening. Yes. 
uh, this region. Now you can see that, for example, if the uh, dress of the patient is uh, uh, much more larger, okay, so you can only uh, put it in this position. But if there is uh, the um, bloody point is uh, bloody point is uh, large, okay, so you have to cut the dress okay with the scissor or any other thing which is available okay so that we can show this place and we are pressing <laughs> and also start to tie and uh, also like in a hand we are uh, identifying our uh, bleeding type of bleeding and if it's arterial we are making yes. tight so copper. now you can see like uh, first if uh, one thing uh, we will show that if the bleeding we will put and if it's still bleeding and we know that this one is arterial uh, bleeding and we are putting our bands a little bit upper then we have to put the this double band at this at the lower end so that the circulation we can uh, stop or to a minimum point for example it will be 2 p.m it's yes. time time when we are putting our tie and we are uh, right at the time. So when then uh, we have we have given the first aid, okay, and uh, if the uh, ambulance uh, uh, came, okay, reached, uh, and we have to uh, see that if the, the bleeding is high, okay, then uh, we have to hold the uh, foot uh, in this position, okay, in this position, so that the circulation become minimum and minimum and the patient don't lose much of the blood okay so uh, we have uh, showed you the feet region okay and uh, now we will show you about the uh, upper region the neck region uh, one thing i want to explain that why we are explaining the arm region this region and the feet this region and the neck region because most of the capillaries most of the veins most of the arteries pass through this region okay and this region is the more uh, dangerous area okay if, if there is any uh, harm to these places okay the uh, bleed the, the, the person will lose much more uh, blood and like the region and we firstly must identify it and we have here we have biggest vessels it's a carotid vessels and carotid arteries yes. and veins and we are pr must press with our uh, something anything yes, we it have can to be. put you have to put uh, any uh, if available thing available if there is a cloth or uh, if we have a bent okay uh, our plaster anything we have to hold this place because we you know that the mo the big artists the big vein are passing through this region okay then we have hold this place you can see that the the position of the arm of the patient and should be like this, like this. the will one sit. person will help and we will tie like this because when we will put our hands like this, and this uh, it will be hold our and press our artery, cut the okay. arteries like this. Yes. Okay. And also so, we will write a time when we put okay. our time. So it must be a bit why because why, why the, uh, the position of the arm at this region because uh, we cannot uh, put the bend through the neck region so we will uh, through the help of the arm we will put the bend and uh, then no we are not putting we mustn't put because heart we we, we have a heart and uh, our vessels must be stay a little bit upper and if patient will stay like uh, going to hospital in this position in a uh, vertical position it will be better for yes. our patient the circulation will be low and like and in arm region, like in uh, feet region, uh, we have written the time and date. For example, it's uh, 9 a.m. Okay, and we will uh, put the date also. Okay, so these are the uh, three. And in, uh, if the ambulance came, okay, the patient uh, should sit uh, in the uh, Ambulance are uh, we have to uh, put the patient in this 
position so that the uh, circulation of the blood should be in minimum minimum so today uh, we have shown you three parts the main parts uh, uh, which uh, uh, the person harm during an accident also during the falling out also okay so do, uh, it, through this procedure uh, you will uh, stop the bleeding in the person okay so uh, every student every doctor every nurse every medical uh, professional uh, should know this procedure thank you for uh, your watching thank you and bye bye